Unit 13, fungi in the natural environment. What are fungi? Well, fungi is the plural of the word fungus. And fungi are eukaryotic organisms that include yeasts, molds, and mushrooms. Eukaryotic, what's that mean? Well, you is the uh, a Greek root word that means truth or true, and karyo means nucleus. So eukaryotic organisms are organisms that have a real nucleus. Prokaryotic organisms, pro is a root word meaning before, um, so before nuclei. Uh, prokaryotic organisms are primarily like the bacteria and archaea um, don't have true nucleuses. So fungi are organisms with real nucleuses and include yeasts, molds, and mushrooms. They're classed as a kingdom called fungi. So they have their own fungi separate from the kingdoms of plants, animals, and bacteria. Most fungi consist of something called hyphae. Hyphae are microscopic, thread-like, generally very, very branched structures. Sort of like, think of it like the stem of a plant or the trunk of a tree that branches out into branches. A hyphae is kind of like that, except the branches occur everywhere. Most hyphae are separated into individual cells by structures called septa, or in the singular, a septum. And masses of hyphae together are referred to as a mycelium. And the mycelium is the real body of most fungi. And keep in mind, all of this is in the soil or inside a decaying tree trunk or inside it's not visible to the naked eye typically a single cubic inch of soil one inch by one inch by one inch can contain eight miles of mycelium and since mycelium are bunches of hyphae together who knows how many miles of hyphae this diagram shows the two types of hyphae. The top one is the non-septate hyphae. The individual cells aren't separated from each other and they form long tubes. The bottom one is the septate hyphae and the individual cells are separated by a wall called a septum or septae in plural. And you can see openings between the cells. Septate hyphae have the septum perforated by a pore. This pore is large enough that mitochondria and ribosomes from one cell can pass through to a neighboring cell. Sometimes even a nucleus from a cell can pass through to a neighboring cell. <clears throat> In non-septate hyphae, the tubular cell walls don't have those separations. And the cytoplasm and organelles like ribosomes and Mitochondria, as well as nuclei, can move freely up and down the hyphae. Mushrooms. When we think of fungi, I think most of us think of mushrooms. And for most of us, mushrooms are the most visible sign of a fungus. However, mushrooms are simply the reproductive structure of a particular fungus. So they're roughly the equivalent to a flower. Think about that for a moment when you look at a flower like a rose or a flower on an apple tree or something like that. Um, that flower represents a really small part of the entire organism, the apple tree or the rose bush or whatever. The same thing is true of mushrooms. They typically represent a very small part of the entire fungus, which is usually underground. So when you see a mushroom, 
there's probably a thousand to up to a million times more mass than is represented in that mushroom growing underground in the form of mycelia, which is the real body of the fungi. <clears throat> fungi have both sexual and asexual reproduction. Um, they're like plants in that regard. Um, asexual reproduction is accomplished via spores or by mycelial separation in which the mycelium is cut in some way and each part grows independently. Imagine a uh, um, decaying tree and a fun fungi has, uh, there are fungi invading the, the wood structure of the tree and uh, the tree breaks in half. Now that cuts the mycelia, but the mycelia in each part of the tree can then continue to grow independently and the part that has broken off doesn't necessarily die from that. Um, sexual reproduction in fungi varies somewhat between the types of fungi, um, but we can roughly generalize what happens. We'll take a look at a diagram here. And you can see on the left, we're looking at, um, in this area, the asexual or vegetative reproduction. From the mycelia, the fungi create spore-producing structures, which then of course, produce spores. The spores germinate, grow into mycelia, and this whole circle continues on and on and on. When conditions are right, however, things can branch in a different direction, and the fungi use sexual reproduction. So this area on the right shows the sexual reproductive cycle uh, generalized for fungi. Different fungi have slightly different cycles with different stages, uh, but essentially um, this shows the basic outline of how they reproduce. So asexual reproduction, as we saw in the previous diagram, begins with the release of spores. It actually begins with the creation of the spore producing structures, which then release spores, you know, depends on where your starting point wants to be. The spores germinate and grow into hyphae and then mycelium and the cycle repeats. If, the, if a mycelium is cut into pieces, then each piece can still grow and function. So that's the other method of asexual reproduction. Sexual reproduction, however, um, happens a little differently. Two cells fuse together. That's that stage called plasmogamy that we saw in the uh, diagram. For a time, this new cell exists with two nuclei. That's that heterokaryotic stage from the diagram. Then something happens called karyogamy. Karyogamy is when the nuclei fuse together and form a diploid cell. That means it has all of the DNA from both of the other cells. That cell is then a zygote, which is a diploid stage. The zygote then divides by meiosis. And if you remember back to the uh, unit two, we talked about meiosis. Um, and it forms four haploid cells. So a haploid cell has only one part of the DNA from the uh, parents. These haploid cells move into spore-releasing structures. And these structures, depending on the um, individual fungi, often forcibly eject the spores, blow them out into the environment. And then the cycle repeats. As I said, the stages vary, and not all of these stages occur in all the fungi. Um, 
and there might be other stages that occur in some fungi that weren't shown in the diagram. But in general, that's what happens.